pay for what it's worth. When we come back from Okinawa, we were lucky if we could remember how to do these cuts. At least I was. I, I, I was a little more. They grain on them. When we first learned uh, uh, Sage and Kata, we come from here. This was a light block. This was a light block right here, just like that. What happened was the block come here. The guy got still the kitchen spoke when he was wrong. They started doing this. Fingers got broke, fingers got jammed. We went to tear the wrist up, the uh, elbow, and also the shoulder. So what happened then was they had the guys had the guys stepping in for a punch. Then he started doing this. Right? Because this didn't work. Right? From right here, I want you to step into a punch. Now step in and pull the kick. The block was done, so we in. Like this. Kick toward the groin. It's the same thing right here. So if you if you don't try, it's, it's trying like this. You're trying to fix something that's not broke. What I've what I've done, I look at it like this. I'm not authorized to change these moves. These parts. If I have a problem with making the technique work, there's nothing wrong with the technique. The problem with me, I don't understand. It. So what I do is I continue to work on that until I find something that that is effective that I can teach anybody on the dojo floor and have it work for them right then and there. All right, and just work outside my side. Or is this only for a kid? Okay. I don't want to have techniques for kids or one for punches. You want to have a split that protects the whole body on anything you're doing. And this just a this is a kind of pet peeve of mine. I'll just throw up my opinion, whether or not. Everybody comes to seminars and I do a little block and a reverse punch in this particular pocket. What are you doing there, Sensei? I'm doing a reverse punch and I'm doing a, 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 a punch. Yeah, but in this car you show this, like in say song, I show a lot of different techniques for that. Right? How many mid-level blocks and reverse punches do you do in the 8 empty hand cuts? You ever stop to think that? That's a hell of a lot of me. Alright. Everybody gives lip service to doing basics. You know. How many the, when we walk in our dojo, the very first thing we do is we do our apply war by techniques. I don't give a damn. If you've been with for 10, 15, 20 years, that's required. Go to your basics, learn as much as you can about this move on different angles and stuff. Right. And every basic like that, then take it to the cut. Now you don't have, well, I do this to say song, I do this and this copy here. Now you've got tons of things that you do in the other part. But it all comes right back to the very first thing that wants to move the set to the foundation of our system. I don't care what I show you today, you step in for a punch of me, I'm on a mid-level block it, and I'm just going to knock this knock right out of you because I've done that for 40 years, I'm going to let baby work. <laughs> 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 you don't think so, step up here, we'll stay here. Block the block. Yeah, block the block. So, sometimes don't don't get too analytical on it. If you're having problems, you got to relax and, 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 and stay with the move. I've, I've seen already today, remember, we've done college, everybody's real, real close. But I've seen a lot of it of who's on who are we like this, you know, and we are trying to manipulate the body. You follow the movement of the Kata, nine times out of ten, it's going to work a little bit So that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>